What is an antistatic material? Where is it used? How do you know if it's an antistatic material? Welcome to our weekly video channel. Hi, my name is Samantha and second generation owner of Glassil Polymer Syndrome Rahat. We are the one-stop plastic injection molding solution center in Malaysia. Recently, we've got a project to produce antistatic polypropylene component trays, antistatic PP trays, which we are widely used in the electronics clean room environment, producing electronics components. So let me introduce this additive to you if you think it is important in your plastic parts and may want to use it for certain functions. So what is antistatic material? On Wikipedia, it says, Anesthetic materials are generally referred to as any material which inhibits tribal electric charging. This kind of charging is the build-up of an electric charge by the rubbing or contact with another material. Sounds complicated. <laughs> right, okay, let me explain. There are two types of electric. One static, another one current. Current is electricity that flows, which you see in our lights or lamps. And static, like its name, it's electricity that builds up on surface that are insulated like plastic or rubber. Kind of like statics that builds up when you're rubbing on a carpet floor or in, in your rubber shoes. So imagine if you touch anything that is conductor, you'll feel a zap or sometimes even a spark. So this is causing pretty huge damage to electronics components. Imagine you have charges on your body and you touch electronics components and potentially you will kill quite a lot of electronics components. Therefore, it became a practice that in a clean room environment, we do not want plastic to be fully insulated because the built-up static will zap the components. We want it to be able to dissipate the static charge without causing damage to the electronics or electric components. Then you will ask, I've heard of antistatic, I've heard of dissipative. Aren't they the same? The answer is no. What? Antistatic works in the range of 10 to the power 10, 10 to 10 to the power 12 um, square ohms per square. And dissipative material works in the range of 10 to the power 5 to 10 to the power 9, which we actually measured using surface resistivity um, ohm per square as a unit. If I have a chart, it will look like this. Conductive, static dissipative, antistatic, and then insulative. An insulator like plastics prevent current flows, but does not prevent static buildup. An antistatic prevents static buildup. A static dissipative material allows charges to flow to the ground in a more controlled manner. Hence, it is used to protect a product. So next question would be, how can we make plastic, which is an insulator, to become an antistatic? The magic is additive. There are additives that are added into the plastic with different dosage. The higher the resistivity, it becomes antistatic material. Lower resistivity, it is a dissipative material. Why do you want to have dissipative material? Typically for clean room usage. This is to ensure there are no static buildup that will kill the component, even at times um, very expensive microchips. We cannot avoid static builds up in the clean room environment. Therefore, it is important that these small charges in the event of build up gets grounded in a controlled manner. What type of dissipative methods are there? One, it's compounded material, which is the additive that is blended in the plastic. It can be ABS, PP, PVC, or it can be also dipped. However, dipping process will probably cost a little more um, because it involves time of the dipping and drying out. If you'd like to know where you can get antistatic or dissipative material, some call it ESD, talk to your material supplier or you can also contact us and we're happy to help. And since we're in the ESD chapter, you may want to know these ESD symbols. The slash on a hand, ESD susceptible, usually is on the product symbolized that the product will be damaged by electrostatic charges. Hence, you will need to discharge or put on an ESD straps when handling the product. If the symbol has an arc around the hand and without a slash, ESD protective. That means that the product is designed to protect electrostatic susceptible items. For example, a protective packaging, a protective tray. 
And the product that we made for our client is an ESD protective material. And as a designer, you can actually put the symbol onto the product. Do you want to know more about the additive in the plastic world? Do you have any question that you would like to ask me to explain about plastic or injection molding? Feel free to drop me an email at asksam at glassware.com. If you like my video, don't forget to click on like and subscribe. Turn on the no notification bell to get more weekly updates on manufacturing tips, design tips, and some plastic injection insider tricks that you need to create excellent products that works for a solution for mankind. See you next week and goodbye.